We are in northern Ghana, where life is hard since the rainy season is only four months and the rest of the year is dry and often very hot. Farmer has tested and tasted a new variety of orange-fleshed sweet potato and like it. But it is difficult to store the roots for a long time and they have problems maintaining planting materials during the long dry season. If you want to maintain the vines, you need to irrigate and fence a plot with OFSP plants during the long dry season. Otherwise, you lose planting material and the variety. Some farmers obtain planting material for sweet potato by asking their neighbors and friends or by searching for it on the market when the raining season starts. Others maintain vines in the backyard with some irrigation during the dry season and start multiplying when the raining season starts. There are several disadvantages of these practices. First, you may obtain your vines late in the season, which may result in a low yield. Second, you may not get the variety that you want or even have a mix of varieties and you may not be able to sell the roots on the market. Third, the vines may carry pests and diseases leading to a poor yield and low quality roots. Storing the sweet potato roots in sand and sprouting them six to eight weeks before the raining season is an easy and safe way to obtain planting material. Sweet potato can be stored in a pit or a box filled with sand. Make sure the structure is dry before filling it because a wet pit or box can increase rotten and early sprouting of roots in storage. Monitor your stored roots at least once a month because some roots may get infested with weevils or start rotting during the storage. It is important to take these bad roots out of the storage to prevent them from infesting the healthy roots. Bad smell from rotting roots warns you that something is going wrong and you need to take these roots out of storage immediately. If the temperature of roots and sand in storage are high and feel too hot on your hand, you should unpack the sandbox or pit. Take out the sand and roots and cool them in the shade before filling the storage structure again. Make sure the sand in storage remains dry since wet sand will stimulate sprouting of the roots much earlier than when you want them to sprout. You notice the sand is wet? Take out the roots and sand and dry the sand. Make sure to cool the sand before filling the storage structure again. The moment you want to take out roots for home consumption is a good opportunity to monitor your roots in storage for possible problems. When you find that roots are sprouting, but the raining season is still more than two and a half months away, you should remove the small sprouts to increase storage time of the roots. You can decide to consume the sprouted roots because they are still edible. When the raining season is likely to start within two and a half months, you can stop removing the sprouts from the sprouted roots. When the sprouts are more than 1.5 centimeters long, you can take out the sprouted roots to plant them out for vine production. Plant the sprouted roots in a large basin with sand and water the basin. The sprouts will continue to grow and soon you will see emerging from the sand in the basin. When the sprouts on the roots grow and turn green or purple, you can start planting them in your garden or yard to establish a nursery. You want to plant your sprouted roots in a nursery about six to eight weeks before the raining season and prepare the garden beforehand. For your nursery, 
choose a plot close to a water source and with fertile soil. Clear the area from weeds and sweet potato debris. Prepare the land and fence the plot to protect it from roaming livestock. It is best to avoid a plot where sweet potato was grown before to avoid pests and diseases. Prepare planting holes at distances of 50 centimeters for burying the sprouting roots. Carefully bury the whole roots with its sprouts facing upwards and make sure not to break or damage the sprouts. If the sprouts are very long, you can let them stick out of the soil. When burying the sprouted roots, make sure to bury them, leaving a slight depression that helps watering and restrains water. Water the roots at planting and then water them every three or four days. If you notice the soil is too dry and the emerging sprouts are wilting water, the holes more often. By the time the rains come, the roots would have sprouted vigorously and it is possible to cut about 40 vine cuttings per root for planting. With this method, you can generate over 1,500 vine cuttings of 30 centimeters long from only 40 medium-sized roots. If you need more vines, you can continue to water the garden and the cut sprouts will start growing again. You can cut vines again after about four weeks. After two harvests of vines from the sprouted roots, you should clear the bed and plant another crop or leave it to follow. With the Triple S method, you can make sure to have good quality planting material in the right quantity and at the right time. This will help you and your family to grow more OFSP and improve the health and wealth of your family. I'm sorry that I'm not going to be able to get out of here.